The platypus defies convention. It lays eggs like a reptile, has a bill and webbed feet reminiscent of a bird, and yet it nurses its young with milk, placing it firmly within the mammal kingdom. But how does a mammal come to lay eggs? This rare trait, shared only with the echidna, harks back to the very dawn of mammalian evolution. Venturing into the water, the platypus reveals another of its extraordinary abilities, electrolocation. With eyes, ears and nose closed while submerged, it navigates and hunts using electric fields generated by the muscular contractions of its prey. This sixth sense allows the platypus to detect shrimp and other small aquatic creatures in the murky waters of rivers and streams, making it a formidable nocturnal hunter. Adding to the platypus's mystique is the male's venomous spur on its hind legs. During the breeding season, males become more aggressive and can deliver a potent venom capable of causing severe pain to humans and death to smaller animals. This venom, unique among mammals, is yet another feature that sets the platypus apart in the animal kingdom. The female platypus has a single breeding season once a year. After a delicate courtship dance in the water, she constructs a burrowed nest where she lays one to three eggs and incubates them for about ten days. Unlike birds, she doesn't use warmth from her body. Instead, she curls around the eggs, transferring heat through the burrow's insulated environment. Upon hatching, the babies, termed puggles, are incredibly vulnerable and depend entirely on their mother. They feed on milk secreted from the mother's mammary glands, absorbed through the skin, as the platypus lacks nipples. This unique method of nursing continues until the puggles are ready to venture outside the nest. From its duck-billed face, webbed feet, beaver-like tail, to the male's venomous spurs, the platypus is truly an animal of many parts. If you enjoyed learning with us, leave a like and a sub.